What are the differences between a SOC 2 type 1 and a SOC 2 type 2? A SOC 2 type 1 is a point in time report. It only covers a specific day. In addition, the type 1 only covers the design of the controls. So an auditor only has to confirm that the controls are suitably designed. In a type 2, however, the audit covers a period of time. Usually it's no more than a year and best practice says for it to be at least six months. However, you can do less than six months for a type two report. In addition, the type two not only tests the design of the controls, but it also tests the operating effectiveness of the controls. So an auditor has to do a lot more work in order to get comfort over the design and the operating effectiveness in a type two, rather than only the design in a type one. How do the requirements differ between a SOC two type one and a SOC two type two? Well, when we think of requirements, we think of the trust services criteria. Regardless if you're doing a SOC 2 type 1 or SOC 2 type 2, the trust services criteria are the same. The big difference is a type 1 only needs to cover the design of the controls where a type 2 needs to cover the operating effectiveness of controls. The requirements are actually only different for the auditor. They're not different for the customer undergoing a SOC 2 audit. In a type one, the auditor only has to test the design. So they might only look at policies, they might only interview you, might only do walkthroughs. Where in a type two, they actually got to get evidence to support operating effectiveness of all controls over an audit period. So the requirements don't change for the customer, they only change for the auditor. You have to undergo a SOC two type one before undergoing a SOC two type two. The answer is no. A lot of people think you need to do a type one before a type two, but there is no requirement for doing this. However, a lot of people do a type one before a type two for many reasons. The most important being that a type one can be done a lot faster because it only covers a point in time and it only covers the design of the controls. As soon as you have your controls implemented, you can have an auditor start. In a type two, because there needs to be an audit period, once your controls are implemented, you can't start right away. You need to have that audit period pass before you can start your audit. This means your customer won't receive any type of report until the audit period is over. Whereas in a type one, they can get a report a lot faster. In addition, your type one can also prepare you for your type two. Because the type one only covers the design, your auditor can call out some gaps and you can fix them before the type one is issued. Uh, that's a big difference in a type two. If you just go straight into a type two and an auditor find gaps or identifies issues, they have to report that in your final report that you provide to customers. How do you determine the period of coverage for a SOC two type two? Well, in reality, there actually is no minimum or maximum SOC 2 type 2 audit period that needs to be covered. You could technically do a two-day period, but that wouldn't provide much value to your customers. So when you're doing your first SOC 2 type 2, best practice and what most people expect is at least a six-month audit period. However, a lot of times customers are trying to win work, they're trying to win the big enterprise customer, and they want to get a type 2 done faster. So they do a lesser than six-month audit period. The, the smallest amount I've ever seen is a three month type two report. I wouldn't recommend going less than three months for your first one because your customers might not accept that as being a long enough period. Even three months is pushing it, but if you're trying to get work, if you're trying to win work, trying to win a customer, it's a, probably the best path forward to do that lesser period report. Um, if you can do six months, I recommend it for your first one. After that, it's a, usually a rolling 12 month cycle for your SOC two type two audit period.